I'm Jax Mishak and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in California and we're going to cook a spatchcock chicken on the Kamado Joe Classic 2. Here's how we prepare it. First things first, you want to get your Kamado Joe lit and up to temperature. This is the first cook on my brand new Kamado Joe Classic 2. So we're going to pile it higher with some big block charcoal, get a fire lighter lit, Put the fire lighter into the firebox and bring the Kamado up to temperature. You want to get it to around 315 degrees Celsius. This burns off all the oils that get onto the equipment while it's being manufactured and can possibly be harmful to your food. So you want to get rid of them. Then we're going to put in the divide and conquer system. The deflector plates are going on top of our heat source because we're cooking indirect today and then the grill grate is gonna go in the highest position. We're gonna hold the high temperature of 315 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes before reducing the temperature down to 180 degrees. We're gonna do this by opening up the top vent as wide as it will go and opening the bottom vent to let a load of airflow in, more air, more heat. We've reached the desired temperature now to burn off all those shipping oils. So we're gonna restrict the airflow by closing the top vent and closing the bottom vent. And we're just gonna hold this temperature for around 15, 20 minutes. Then we're gonna reduce the temperature by restricting the airflow even more to bring the temperature down to our desired cooking temperature. Now to spatchcock the chicken. You need a very sharp knife or you can use some poultry shears, whatever you prefer. Poultry shears are probably the safer option, but I don't have any, so we're gonna use a knife. Nice sharp knife, and then you're gonna make an incision down the back of the spine of the bird and basically remove the spine in its entirety. Just had a little check inside this chicken and it still has all the giblets and innards still inside it. So we're gonna get rid of them as well. Turn the bird around and repeat the process, being careful not to cut yourself. Nice sharp knife in the other side of the spine and cut down until you have removed the spine in its entirety. Always try it and cut away from yourself, never cut towards yourself. This prevents you from nicking yourself, causing injuries. Be careful. And then once you've done all your chopping, the spine should come away nice and easily from the rest of the bird. That's just the wishbone that we've actually gone through and is splintered, so that's not an issue. What we do is we'll just remove the flesh from this, and then once we've flattened the chicken out, we'll just remove that little bit of wishbone. You don't want to do that anyway. And that is your chicken spatchcocked. Now to season the bird, I've got some fry light here, which is a cooking spray, low calorie cooking spray. We're just gonna give the bird a few hits of this, just to help the rub stick to it. This is Cattleman's Grill Tri-Tip Rub. It's quite a coarse rub. It's really tasty. It's got lots of salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, bits of garlic in it. So it's really, really good with chicken. Good liberal coating all over your bird. You can, if you want, start to push the skin back with your fingers and put a little bit of seasoning underneath the skin. Any seasoning that goes on the skin won't penetrate into the flesh. So if you want, do this, be gentle. You don't want to start piercing the skin and give your rub a nice little massage underneath the skin onto the flesh of the chicken. Now you're just going to repeat the process on the top of the bird. Couple of hits of the fry light. You can use olive oil. You can use anything you want, really. Bit of mayonnaise. That's always good as a binder give you a nice crispy coat in and then hit it with your rub.
to monitor the cook, we're gonna use a meter wireless thermometer that connects to an app on your iPhone and you can select the desired cooking temperature. So for chicken, we wanna get it to 74 degrees Celsius so the meat is safe to eat. Now we're cooking this bird indirect. Our heat deflectors are on, our grill grates are in the highest position they can go on the divide and conquer system and we've set the temperature at around 180 degrees Celsius. We're about an hour into our cook now, so let's have a check on the bird. It's looking good, skin's starting to go nice and crispy. We're not burning the rub, and I've even chucked some corn on the cob on to accompany the dish. We're an hour and a half into this cook now and I've just had a notification on my phone from the meter app that the chicken is cooked. So we're gonna take this off now and let it rest for around 10 minutes before we slice into it. You may wonder, why did I cook the spine? It's not got any meat on it. Well, keep this for a stock. It makes wicked chicken stock. Okay, we've let the chicken rest for around 10 minutes, so we're ready to slice. It's a really easy process. If you're not confident in carving a chicken, then spatchcock is the way forward. As you can see, one slice and the leg comes off. Don't forget to remove your meter thermometer. You don't want to be eating that. Then all you're gonna do down the crown of the chicken is do a straight cut and that separates it into two breasts. Then you can go in at an angle, down into the wing to remove the wing from the breast. Then all you need to do is repeat the process on the second half of the chicken, and that is how to cook and carve a spatchcock chicken cooked on the Komodo Joe Classic 2 using big block charcoal. We had the defector plates in, the grill grate was in the highest position. We cooked at 180 degrees Celsius and it produced a lovely chicken, moist, crispy skin. We didn't burn our rub, lovely. Thanks again for joining me at Jack's Meat Shack. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Check me out on Instagram as well at Jack's Meat Shack and I will see you all again very soon. Take care, y'all.